Before we get started, I just want to take a minute to remind everybody how special each and every one of you is. You're a unique beauty, unlike any other, and I love you. Welcome home, love. I've got great news. The dog cage arrived while you were away, and I filled it with lots of comfy things so our new puppy will feel safe and secure and happy. <laughs> it won't be long now until we can go and get one. In just a few more days. By the way, you left your phone here, and I, I promise I wasn't snooping, but when it lit up, it had a message from some random guy on it. Okay, darling, what is it you want to show me? Ah, I see. It was an automated message from a dating sim app, not a real person. Aw, I didn't know you were into dating sims. That's so cute. I looked into them once, but I could never get my head around the idea of just picking generic choices and then your date suddenly loves you. Oh, sure. Sure, you meant to uninstall it when we started dating. <laughs> you would say that, wouldn't you? Uh, honey, I'm not going to get jealous over fictional men. I think it's adorable. So, do you have a type? It seems like you sent a lot of messages to this guy. What's he like? Uh, yandere. I'm sorry, but what is a yandere? Someone who loves obsessively? To the point of controlling their partner? Wow, I, I guess I'm pretty dull in comparison then. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, silly. I know you love me, just like I love you. Hey, it's not a stupid phase at all. There's nothing wrong with little fantasies. In fact, why don't we roleplay a scene just for fun? I, I don't know that I have a yandere bone in my body, but I can play pretend if that's what you're into. Yeah? Okay, I'm glad you're on board with the idea. Now... What would a yandere even do? Put you in the cage? Um, okay. Sure. Well, uh, get into the cage then. It should be lovely and soft in there. I put down lots of blankets and pillows. And they all have our scent so the puppy can get used to us. And, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm rambling. Close the cage, right? So, what now? Do I lock you in, or? Sure, sure. Okay, like I said, you're completely valid. I'm not judging. Just let me know when you're ready to come out, I guess. You're getting a cramp in your neck. Oh, sweetheart. I'm not surprised. This wasn't made for a human after all. It's no wonder you're having to duck down like that. Come on. We can roleplay a different way. I'll let you out. Actually, you know... I thought the idea of a yandere was a little strange at first, but looking at you through the bars, I understand why it would feel necessary to lock you away. I mean, you're so vulnerable. Look how easily you got captured. If that character is the kind of man you like, you are not safe in the real world. 
<laughs> Honey, we got a cage for the new dog so it wouldn't go running away when we leave it unattended. Because we care about it. We want it to be safe. How is this any different? I'm not saying you make bad decisions, but if anything happened to you, I'd never forgive myself. And you wanted a more protective guy, right? So it's it's a win-win. But now that you've seen your actual partner act like this, I bet you want to run a mile, don't you? It's not such a nice fantasy in reality, is it? No. No, that's what I thought. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go. Even once I release you from the cage, I'll need to keep you by my side as much as possible. Who knows what kind of predator you might attract. You can take care of yourself. Well, clearly not, or you wouldn't be in this situation. But don't worry, love. I'll take care of you and keep you safe from any harm. Yeah, I'll become the man you want me to be. (laughs) Nobody else will touch you, talk to you, or even see you. And if they do, oh, if they do then they're in for a world of pain. Because, because you are mine. You always have been, and now you always will be. I need to make some phone calls and sort a few things out. I'll be back later, all right? Shh. It's okay. You stay right there, darling. (laughs) Not that you have a choice. 